Does anybody else feel like the older they get, they relate more and more to gremlins? Because I personally feel like I do, okay? I don't like bright lights. Bright lights hurt my eyes, okay? I feel like the older I've gotten, the more and more I've become kind of a night owl, which I don't really like that about myself, but it's just kind of happened. It's like the nature of working for myself at home. I don't really like getting wet either, okay? I don't like swimming. I don't like getting my hair wet. It's a whole process to wash my hair. I only do it a few times a week because it's so annoying and it's such a process and I only do it because I have to. Also, I should not eat after midnight. Like that has become really difficult for me. Um, if I'm hungry before bed, I have to be careful, okay? Because we're playing with fire and that fire is my stomach and bloating is a real problem as I've gotten older. All of that is to say that I think I'm relatively cute and cuddly looking. However, if you feed me the wrong thing or look at me the wrong way or something is thrown off about my routine, I can become a total monster. So today we're watching the movie of my people, and that is Gremlins. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today we are watching our final holiday movie of the season, and that is Gremlins. I know I'm a little bit late with this one. We are watching this after Christmas time because uh, my editor, Cameron, say hello to the people, Cameron. Hi, I'm sorry I cut your favorite scene out of that one movie. I'm just a little guy. Was taking a bit of a break. I was also taking a bit of a break. It's good to just take some time to be with family and travel during this time of year. So. This this movie is coming out to you guys a little bit after Christmas, but still within December. This is actually one of the few movies that I have seen before, although it has been a really long time since I've watched this one. Fun fact, my cousin Gavin is obsessed with this movie and him and his parents have actually watched some of my videos before, which is crazy because I swear so much, like, please don't watch this, Gavin. <laughs> I mean, we censor my swear words, but still, I mean, like, I don't really think I'm necessarily the friendliest of family channels, but he is obsessed with Gremlins. He loves this movie. He loves the sequels. So uh, he might check out this video. And I'm also just really excited to be watching this one again. It's been so long. I think I remember being like a little scared by it when I was a kid, like something about it just felt a little spooky. And I haven't seen it since I was really, really young, but I do remember the three cardinal rules of Gremlins, which you don't expose them to bright lights, you don't get them wet, and you don't feed them after midnight. And I know that all three of those cardinal rules are broken because children can't be trusted with pets, okay? They just, the moral of the story here is that children are irresponsible. This entire movie, I feel like, is just gonna be me being like, no, don't do that, no, don't do it. But things have to go wrong in order for the plot to progress. So I'm really excited to watch this one again. I think it'll be a fun time. I feel like I remember when I watched this the last time, really relating to the kid, because I was a kid. I feel like this time I'm going into this movie and I'm gonna relate to the gremlins. <laughs> I just, I feel like I've been having some health issues this year, certain health problems. I've been working with a doctor, trying to figure out what's wrong with me, but I've definitely been like a lot more sensitive to stuff lately, sensitive to sleep problems, sensitive to like dietary problems and digestive problems and like nutrient absorption problems. And I do feel like I've been kind of a mess if my routine isn't on point. So I really do feel like I relate to the gremlins right now. And I'm kind of excited to just get on into this and have fun and see my people. <laughs> so without any further ado, I think it's time to grab a drink, grab a snack, not after midnight. And let's get into gremlins. <laughs> now let's just say for the sake of argument that you're on a bus or a plane or a train. You forgot to brush your Look at teeth. The, this guy's eye is so cool. Did he have actual heterochromia or was that a contact? No problem, friend. All you do is... He does not care. <laughs> that's no problem. That's absolutely no problem. No problem. Yeah, yeah, that's where I wanted the toothpaste. <laughs> The noises they make are so cute. Mama. What's he doing? Singing. Oh my god. He does that sometimes. Our fur uh sorry, I was about to say our furries inspired by gremlins. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh god. That that no. That's not what I meant. I meant Furbies. Furbies. I'm pretty sure Furbies are inspired by gremlins. Furbies are the worst. I had one that never shut up. Just throw it in a toy chest, it'd be tormenting us for weeks. Here he is, the problematic child. Look, he's got a dog. Can you can you take care of the dog properly? Morning. 
Bonnie. The bank? He works, he brings his dog to work at the bank? That's amazing. I wish, I was I was about to say, I wish I could bring my dogs to work. I do, They're, I work from home, but like back when I worked in an office, I mean. You sign this petition. Yeah, sure. What's it for? We're trying to have Dory's pub declared a landmark. Mrs. Deagle's trying to take his lease away. Is this the woman? This is like villain music, yeah. And she's even in all black. <laughs> the car's screeching to a halt while she's crossing the street. She, oh, just barging in. What the hell? This is what's left of my imported Bavarian snowman. Your dog broke it this morning. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Just tell me how much I owe you. I'll be more than happy to. I don't you. want money. Okay. It's a snowman. I want your dog. Oh, you're. What? No. I'll take him to the kennel. They'll put him to sleep. It'll be quick and painless compared to what I could do to him. I'm starting to remember why I was scared of this movie. She's awful. Then you'll get what he deserves. No, 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 no. Where's the dog going? He's so smart. Spin dryer on high heat. That'd do it all right. <laughs> that's actually hilarious. Oh no, but he's gonna lose his job. Oh no. To be fair, oh no, that's making it worse. You made it worse, pupper, no. Excuses, you're just like your father. I've listened to his miserable excuses for 10 years, the loser. Can we just kill this woman? She's so annoying. I know it's not that kind of movie, but. Oh, my heart. Oh, I my must heart. The acting, the melodrama. -la 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 -la. Oh no, wait. Did we wrap it? Did you leave holes in it? Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> the little hands, oh my God. Just be careful. You gotta be gentle. I will. I hope he's housebroken. Mm. Bro, this dad literally knows nothing about this pet. Actually, you know what I was saying? This movie is kind of like about how irresponsible children are. <laughs> but also like th this father is totally irresponsible just buying this thing. One, two, three. No, no. What happened? He literally said bright light. You know, there's some things I forgot to tell you guys. Yeah, you were a little late, dude. But you gotta keep him out of the sunlight. Sunlight will kill him. Number two. Keep him <laughs> His kid's unfazed. Like, oh, really? I'll break that rule. And probably the most important thing, don't ever feed him after midnight. Oh, well, he'll break all those rules. He looked like he was barely listening. <laughs> he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cute. This dog is like, I can't sing. I can't even compete with that. What gives? That was the, I was top dog. <laughs> I can wear a hat? Put a hat on me. I'll be so cute in the hat. He's really cute, but oh my God, things are gonna go so wrong so fast. Oh, that milk is for sure getting spilled on that, on, yeah, mm-hmm. Great, thanks a lot. Sorry. This poor, poor little gizmo is just getting mistreated so much in two days. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> I remember this part of the... <laughs> The dog just licking his lips like, ooh, snack, yummy. <laughs> I think this whole movie would have been solved if the dog just ate the other gremlins that hatched. Ew, oh, they grow so fast. <laughs> Dude, I feel, this kid, I feel like, is barely shocked. He's just kind of like, wow. Hey, look, at that one's got a cute little stripe on its head. Mm-hmm. That's because he's a baddie. Well, I mean, don't you think this is, this is incredible? He's like, yeah, okay, cool. I want to read these comic books now. What the? <laughs> he doesn't care. Oh, Gizmo, what's the matter? Oh, he's disappointed. He knows it's bad, yeah. You guys are irresponsible. Oh, Dad, you see what I mean? I see, they, I, they're gamers. I, I did a take of my outro or intro where I said that gremlins were essentially just gamers because they hate bright lights. They don't like showers. <laughs> I don't like getting wet. And then uh, don't feed him after midnight. Cause uh, I don't know. It makes sense. Figure it out. The pelts are pit. This could really be the big one. No, no. Oh, oh my God. His, this family is so irresponsible. That wise old man in the store in the beginning knew. He knew he shouldn't sell to him. I? 
What's going on with the dog? Uh, he's he's up from his bed. How, oh no, is he? No, he's just listening. Oh, there he is. Why is he laughing? He strung the dog up like that? What the hell? Barney, who did this to you? Oh, he's gonna think it was what's her name, the crazy old woman. But Billy, we can't point any fingers, not even at Mrs. Deagle. Bro, stop inventing things. Oh my god. Now watch this. No. Oh my God, he's so irresponsible. See, this guy's reaction makes a lot more sense. He looks actually shocked. <laughs> As opposed to the kid who was just kind of like, <laughs> whoa. Oh God. I don't care who I am. If anyone comes at me like that with a needle upright, I am terrified. Yeah, no, no, this is not gonna hurt. It is gonna hurt. I know, baby. Big guy ah! like you, come on. The poor thing. This must be the way that potty in my closet was formed. Oh God, the food. Is it? Is it after midnight? Oh, it's not twelve o'clock yet. Oh my God. They're colluding. Oh my God, they're evil. Oh my God, he's giving him a whole plate of drumsticks. Oh my God, this close-up is actually horrifying. I'm really starting to remember what scared me so much. Oh, he wants to eat after midnight too. He's working really late. That's it, good buddy. Call it a night. And he's gonna leave the sandwich within arm's reach. My God, what ha what happens to them after midnight? If I forget, it, does it just make them all like evil and chaotic if they eat after midnight? Oh, the clock is the same time. It was after midnight when they ate. The clock is dead. Oh, he's scared of the movie. Turn it off, it's scaring him. Mom, could you come up here, please? Are they all gone. Then I want you to bring the vacuum cleaner upstairs for me. <gasps> what are they? Uh. Well, they're the Mogwai, I guess. Dude, the people's reaction. Did you feed them after midnight? The family's reactions in this movie are so calm. Like, I would be like, what the f dude? What did you do? And she's just like, oh, did you feed them, son? What'd you do, son? Oh, it's steaming in there. Oh God. Poor Gizmo is like, help me, help me. I'm hiding behind a helmet, help. Oh, ew. Dude, I actually like completely forgotten what they look like when they're not cute anymore. I'm like worried for this teacher. I feel like he's gonna die or something. You uh, remember me? Yeah, it probably remembers that you tortured it by not feeding it a sandwich and then stabbing it with a needle. I'm sure it doesn't really like you. You hungry? Oh my god, this guy's gonna get attacked. It's, I feel like he's gonna jump over the table. It's haunting him! Are you kidding me? It's tormenting him! Uh-oh. What happened to him? Mr. Hansen? Oh no. Wait, did he actually die? No way. It stabbed a syringe and it, it poisoned him?! Oh my god, Jesus! It was waiting. Oh my God, it's the same kind of reveal where we, oh, no, it's taking an apple now. I was gonna say, it's like that same kind of slow reveal where we haven't seen it yet, but we see its hands first. Yeah. It's eating glass, which just eats everything. Dude, again, his reaction is just so subdued. No way, oh my God. How did it get in there? Wait a minute. It literally escaped from the pipes to, to the cabinet, what? Oh yeah, and there's more at home, dude. Oh no! Gizmo! Poor Gizmo. Oh! They threw him down the chute! Mom, they hatched. Get out of the house. Oh no. They're gonna pull the power. Wow, this really is like a horror. I'm more I <laughs> Oh no, it's playing a they figured out how to play record. What? With a voice, Harold. Oh, that's actually so spooky. <laughs> oh, they're eating her cookies. Oh my God, it went from being so cute and cuddly to like reptilian. Is she gonna blend it? That's actually so smart. Good thinking, babe. Get out of my kitchen! Good 
job, mom. Wow, she's a killer. <laughs> okay, you got like four more. That's the big one. That's the problem one. She's getting creative. Maybe that wasn't the problem one, that it just happened to have a mohawk. Ew. Maybe your husband can invent a new microwave. She got three. She got three so fast. We only really need one, the problem one to survive for the movie to continue. Although there's also the one from the school that's unaccounted for because her son was useless and did nothing. This woman has been the most capable woman out of everybody in the movie so far. Oh, in the stocking? Honestly, all you have to do is turn the lights on. They don't like bright light, remember? <laughs> oh, it was a toy. It was the fake out. It's gonna be in the tree. Dude, help! Come on! Oh yeah, 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 finally, the sword is useful. Nice! Oh, she got clawed on the face. You know what? She took three of them out all on her own, though. She was pretty good there. Oh, that one's gonna escape. Mom, it's strife. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that mohawk. It was resilient. The fluff lasted. Oh, and it got away. <laughs> it's fun to stay at the YMCA. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> it cannonballed. It cannonballed. Wait, this is really bad because, like, won't they just continue to multiply and multiply and multiply? Oh no. Oh, the little strobe effects and colored lighting is such a fun choice. Oh, get out of there, dude. Burn it all down. Burn the building down. Oh, they're already loose. Oh, my little stop motion animation. They're coming. They start up his tractor? Oh my god. Ah! They're driving his tractor! Oh, not into his house! Come on! No! They're gonna destroy the whole town! This is so sad! Oh my god, are they actually gonna die? I hope not. Wait. I didn't think anybody died in this movie, honestly. Like, the scientist kind of threw me for a loop. Did he die? Deagle, deagle, deagle. Deagle, yeah, mess it up, mess it up. This is what I'm on board with. Mess this shit up. Go back, you stop. Although, don't kill the cats. I do like cats. Why is she using this? I feel like she was, she was walking around town just fine. She was storming across the street like it was nothing. Oh, it's already in here. You oh, don't throw a Oh my God, they're acting. Look at them. This is actually so cute. Where do they get the props? <laughs> Where did they get this? Oh good, I'm glad she didn't throw the water on them. <laughs> They've come for me. Oh, she's gonna use the chair. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. She thinks it's demons from hell. Honestly, she did deserve that. She did, did deserve that. Oh my God. We got like a wicked witch of the West situation here. Or East situation. Whichever one ended up under the house. Oh, Santa, no! <laughs> Jesus, Frank, that's Dave Myers. He does Santa every year. Guys, can you do something? Uh, Frank, please. <laughs> wow. You guys are great cops. Not helping him at all. Please, just don't bite me. Oh my god, he's flashing her? Are you kidding me? How degenerate are they? What the heck? Oh, these these are the classy ones playing poker. Is that a female gremlin with a with your earrings on and lipstick? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. Where'd he get the gun from? Oh. She knows they don't like fire. She's learning that they don't like fire. He wants to have the cigarettes in his mouth, but he doesn't like the flame, yeah. Oh, is she gonna flash him? 
Oh, they still don't like bright lights. Oh, there's no more film. Oh my god. You alright? Let's get out of here! They've been tormenting her all night. It was the worst shift of her life, okay? Oh, now the car. Why'd you turn the car off? You made a mistake by turning the car off. Oh my God, he's just a kid. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. You don't turn the car off. Oh my God, especially when it's a problematic vehicle. <laughs> George, George, George of the jungle. That was like that. What he just did. This is actually so funny. Oh, are we in the bank? Oh, now it's really terrifying. We're at work. Now I have another reason to hate Christmas. Oh, what was the first one? Me and Mom were, were decorating the tree, waiting for Dad to come home from work. Oh, he didn't come home, huh? Christmas Day came and went, and still nothing. The house was freezing, so I went to try to light up the fire, and that's when I noticed the smell. He was in the chimney? He had fallen into the chimney? And me and Mom were expecting them to pull out a dead cat or a bird, and instead they pulled out my father. Why does Gizmo look happy about that story? In a Santa Claus suit. He'd been climbing down the chimney on Christmas Eve. His arms loaded with presents. I'm not gonna lie, that is a really dumb move on your dad, sweetie. Your father was not the brightest. That is actually the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I thought he was probably cleaning the chimney and accidentally fell in. They're all at the movies. They just want to party, man. It's Christmas Eve. They just want to have a little fun. They're destroying the film reels, though. I'm not really going to be watching a lot of movies when you're destroying the film. Oh, wow, look. They're all captivated. I'm surprised this isn't bright enough. A movie screen is not too bright. They like to sing. They are very musically talented. I will give them that. <laughs> oh, it's really, every time he sings, it's really cute. We gotta burn down the movie theater. Where's the boiler room? It's in the back of the theater. How does she know? Does she work here too? Why would either of you know where it is? Uh-oh. Yummy. Oh, he's going across the st Oh, I see, because, okay, they're gonna destroy the theater, but the problematic one is gonna be across the street getting candy. Cover your mouth. Don't breathe any gas. We're just gonna blow up this building. We have no idea who's next door, but it's fine. Don't worry. I'm sure they'd understand. Oh god, that's actually horrifying. <laughs> ah! Are we just waiting for some big- Oh, so is it gonna be some big dramatic explosion? Yep. <laughs> He's so cute. I love how he's still taking the candy with him. <laughs> I think that's a big priority. Honestly, same, dude. Same. Take this, go back, and try and find some kind of light switch. Oh, we gotta have a kiss. Okay, yeah, sure. That was the moment. <laughs> If we didn't have music there when they kissed, that actually would have been so weird to kiss in that moment. It was only because of the music that it was okay. <laughs> On a TV? Man, he's figured out how to scare him with, t with the TVs, really? Oh, water. No, oh God. Oh, that's not good. Oh my God, he's got like actual weapons. What the hell? What's he got now, a chainsaw? A chainsaw. Oh my God. What is Gizmo working on? Oh, a Barbie car. That's so cute. Come on girl, figure it out. Oh, it's locked, I see. Oh wow, okay, good job. Hey, there she goes. Of course it's getting dragged away by the chainsaw, really? Uh, no! No! Uh, oh my god, the random bits of English. Oh, and a gun, oh, too. 
This poor dog. I'm actually glad this dog has not been involved up till now. Reeds are standing by with fire hoses. Barney. Oh, but it's getting involved. <laughs> what are you doing, Gizmo? What is this tactic? <laughs> what the dog? It's waiting. It's waiting by the water. Bear. It's taunting him. It knows its name. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I mean, it looks very wet already. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, you gotta burn this place down now too. You acted too slow. Gizmo, where, what are you doing? I think Gizmo honestly was just driving around having fun driving. Oh! Nice, sunlight, yes, great. Oh, ew, oh my God. Oh, ew, it's horrible. It's awful. Oh, ew. Gross, I get it. It's rotting. I understand. Uh, can we get a little more light in here? I knew there was going to be another jump scare. My God. So it just rots like that in sunlight? That's actually awful. That's horrible. <laughs> Poor dog. The dog is the best actor in the movie, honestly. <laughs> I bet he'd like some chicken soup. <gasps> that guy just appears in the living room. <laughs> Can't knock, bro. Conflicting eyewitness reports concerning little green men. Is this the first he's hearing of this? You teach him to watch television. Dude, that's the least of the of his problems. That's like the least problematic thing they've done with Gizmo. You're having him watch TV? <laughs> he reads in my house. <laughs> well, that's the story. So if your air conditioner goes on the fritz or your washing machine blows up or your- You blame gremlins. Cause that's what they're designed for. Just wrecking havoc. Cause you never can tell. There just might be a gremlin in your house. Dude, that narrating line. That song is really catchy. That's a really catchy song. Oh my God. That ending line. Oh, there just might be a gremlin in your house. I know it's meant to like be kind of cutesy and funny, but it's actually like horrifying. Like when I was a child, I remember thinking this movie was really scary and now I know why. Like it definitely has a lot of horror elements. People die. Like I, <laughs> I did not remember that people die in this movie. <laughs> a lot of people die. <laughs> I think it's one of those movies that's like really funny and like not super scary when you're an adult, but as a kid, it's like <laughs> mildly traumatizing. I think that's why I only really remember seeing it once and then never again. This was really cute, a lot of fun, definitely like a good nostalgic movie, especially if like you were raised in the 80s. I honestly don't have too much to say about this one, guys. It was just a fun time, um, really unique. <laughs> I think the highlight of the movie for me is definitely like the practical effects and the gremlins and like all the shenanigans that the gremlins get into and the acting uh, of those creatures rather than like the people in this movie because most of the people are either pretty unlikable or pretty dumb. Like, honestly, I really just liked watching the movie for the sake of like the gremlins or like the acting from the dog because the dog was really cute. It's just a playful, silly movie that is really well done for what it is and is really fun to revisit. Definitely a little campy and I like the little horror twist on a classic holiday movie. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this, maybe more nostalgic flicks from the 80s. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.